virus. I have there's so much mud oh, in my uh, there's so much mud I can't. I can't. <laughs> Hey everyone, I was going to say good morning, but it's actually in the afternoon. We're heading over to, I think it's Philmont, New York. We're going to stay at an Airbnb because tomorrow is Farmer's Daughter. Well, as you can see from the hat, I am very much looking forward to this event tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, it's raining right now. Uh, so. Our bikes are going to get wet on the way over, but I guess that's it's not a big deal. The rain may or may not be a good thing. Um, on the one hand, it might make the single track muddy, and it probably will make the single track muddy, especially if it continues to rain like this. Um, but on the bright side, it's been very dry leading up to this. So on the, the regular dirt roads, the rain might actually help you know, kind of smooth them out so they're not as dusty, um, but we'll see. Hopefully um, we have clear weather tomorrow. I think it's supposed to clear up tomorrow. So, you know, the rain might affect the ground conditions, but hopefully it's not actually raining on us tomorrow. Unfortunately, um, as the day wore on today, I started to feel a little off. So I'm hoping that it's just allergies and it's not anything. I don't know if you could tell from my eyes, but my left eye is, my eyelid is a little swollen. Um, again, not sure if that's from allergies. I started feeling it yesterday and feeling, feeling it a little bit more today. Um, cross our fingers that it's nothing. All right, see you guys there. Hey guys, good morning. Um, I figured I would um, come on a camera and talk to you for a little bit. Yesterday was a I was in a, a lot of pain, so I, it was really hard for me to give you some background of what exactly happened. And so I don't even know if what I said made sense, but I figured I'd get on the camera and talk a little bit more about what exactly happened and why I never really finished the event. What happened was I... Uh, was feeling pretty good throughout the ride. I actually was able to keep up with Jason and um, you know there were some pretty steep short climbs that I was able to keep up with him. But I noticed that I wasn't as patient as I was when I did the Toad Strangler. And um, I'm not sure yeah, if I was right. just like really excited about this this event because we did it last year and I wanted to PR my time from last year so I don't know if it was from that or it's just you know having done the event and having um, or having recon the two single track sections whatever it was um, I you know was really excited about it and so right from the start um, it was pretty chilly if it's 50 degrees around 50 or upper 50s uh, degrees Fahrenheit at the start of the race and uh, pretty cloudy also so that kind of dropped the temperature to even lower when we started you know we were able to keep up with uh, a, I'm not sure if they were the front group but we were able to keep up with the group we hit the gravel sections and um, already people were um, getting off the side of the road to either fix a mechanical and um, luckily we did not encounter any of that uh, at the first half of the event and um, you know, there were some, I knew that there was going to be a steep climb before we hit the first single track section. It was a similar route to, to Toad Strangler, um, at least the first half was. Um, not completely identical, but there were similar roads. And so we hopped on to the first single track section. Um, I knew it was going to be muddy, so we were prepared for that. I actually dropped my uh, tire pressure uh, yesterday morning, knowing it was it had rained and uh, knowing it was gonna be cloudy and there wasn't gonna be a lot of sun to really dry out the trails, I dropped my tire pressure 
my front to a 28 and my rear to a 32, I believe, a 32. And uh, so I think that was a good tire pressure choice because I was able to uh, pedal through the muddy sections. Um, I had gotten off at the parts that I knew I was gonna get off based on our recon video. Yep, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, jeez. I don't know about that. Yeah, you're doing great. Oh, thank you. You're picking good lines because I'm not following them. <laughs> There was another bottleneck section into Second Creek Crossing, and it was a wait, but I knew that everybody was waiting anyway, so you know I didn't mind. Uh, it was just a game of patience, and I think there were some people who weren't very patient. Oh, another Creek Crossing. back on after the the creek crossing and then uh, rode the bike down the this little hill it was pretty muddy and then got off again because um, there was another short like very small creek crossing but it was hard to ride it because there was this big pipe in the way so you know push the bike up this muddy section and then was able to ride it through and I was pretty proud of myself being able to ride through mud because I was always skeptical about Riding on the mud. Two miles into the ride. And and uh, I average 129 the first lap. Slower than I wanted to, but that is because of my uh, because of the single track who oh, can't talk so got off the single track and walked most of it because 
there's just too many people in the trails and it just bottlenecks so the plan was to just continue riding past the first aid station because we had enough in ours i had i went with my hydration bladder setup which worked well um, in my past gravel rides along it with toad strangler jason actually got a very expensive <laughs> a pair of very expensive bottle cages that were known to just keep the bottles in place because he tried the hydration bladder setup it didn't work out for him he tried the um camelback uh setup but that also didn't work for him so um he went back to having bottle cages and two bottles in the bottle cage anyway it was if you're curious to know what he got it was it's the uh, silka um, titanium bottle cages hopped onto more gravel and some long gravel climbs but they weren't they weren't as steep um, and uh, afterwards we after a couple of humps along the road there we hit the second single track section which is the most fun of the the, the three single track sections we went on in there I, I i was prepared for it i took off my sunglasses um, and i was ready to to kind of drill it um, i was behind jason just kind of following him and knowing now that we did this recon i was pretty confident and but the, the trails were actually pretty muddy um, muddier than when we reconned it and muddier than last year because because the sun never really came out long enough to dry out the trails and so um, we had to be extra careful along around the turns um, but overall it went well until we approached the first uh, pipe crossing And there was a woman that was um, standing to the left side of the trail right after the pipe. So I'm assuming she had maybe had she had crashed um, and other people had slowed down and they rode over it. And so I thought <clears throat> I, I should be able to ride over it also. And uh, I tried to lift my front wheel, my front wheel. Um, I did it too early, though. And so when I lifted it and landed, I landed hard and then I crashed and I crashed pretty hard on the on the dirt. Luckily it was dirt. I do have a little bit of scrape uh, on my elbow. Um, it's just minor scrapes and um, it's a little sore, but I landed on my right, because that's where I landed. I landed on my right side um, and I felt fine. I got up and I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then people were like, are you okay? Because I, I also landed on part of it, my head, there was some whiplash and my neck is also sore from the whiplash, but I hit my head pretty hard I felt like yeah. on the on the on the dirt but you know I, oh. I quickly reass I yeah. quickly assessed yeah. how I was and I, it you. seemed like I was okay I, know I, was... Um, I felt soreness on my my back but I figured that was from the fall so I continued riding and I um, unfortunately the camera lost lost battery but I you know I rode as well as I could uh, on on Total. the other parts but then as I was riding over the routes, I noticed, you know, every time there were some bumps, I felt some soreness or some achiness or pain in my left side of my back, which is not where I had landed. I landed on my right side. And, uh, you know, I kept going and it started to be a little bit more painful. And there were sections where I, there was some rooty sections and I tried to lift my front wheel to go over them, but it was hard because my back was bothering me. And finally got out of the single track 
and uh, put my bike down at the, because there was an aid station right after the second single track, and put my bike down, and I felt, as I was putting it down, because I had to lean down to, to do that, um, I felt a lot of pain on the left side of my back, and I just thought, maybe it's nothing, I, maybe it'll go away. And uh, I did, took my hydration bladder out to, to uh, fill it with water, and as I was walking, I noticed pain on that same side. And, uh, you know, it started to become more and more apparent. And I also think that because it was, it started to get chilly also, um, standing there, because I'm sure we were, I, and I was sweating, um, I was shivering. And as I was shivering, it would, the pain would be worse. Um, so Jason came and he was able to fill his bottles and we were ready to get going. And as we did, I'm pedaling and I still feel the pain as I was pedaling. Oh my God, my, I don't know if I could go, honey. It's like my when I'm pedaling, I get like these, I don't know if it's like I'm cold. We're gonna turn that way. Clear. Oh, let's go. Oh. I think it's just a back spasm. Damn it. You don't happen to have Advil on you, do you? Well, guys. Why is this? On. Oh. Yeah, Joy looks like she uh, went to battle there. Oh, is it bad? Uh, I mean, you got dirt on your back. It's it doesn't look. I mean. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Ah. Like every bump is bothering my back. Maybe we should. Maybe we should stop, honey. What am I? So what are we gonna do, though? Oh. What do we do? I was debating with myself, and you could probably hear from the camera whether or not to to, to stop or to go, and. I knew that there was going to be a lot of climbing the second half of the course and that probably would not help my back. So I did made a U-turn, went back to the uh, aid station and Jason was able to um, get a hold of, uh, talk to Andy, the, the, the race promoter, and he was able to get somebody to, to pick me up along with other guys that had injured themselves or had uh, mechanicals. Uh, there was this one guy who whose whose rear derailleur completely yeah. snapped off, and so he wasn't able to ride. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, luckily, we got we were able to hitch a ride back to the uh, the course back to the start line, and um, I met some really cool, nice people. Um, thank you for the guys who helped me out with my bike and for lifting it and everything because I it was really hard for me to to lift my bike up. And thank you for um, those guys who stopped and uh, said hello to us and the guys who talked to us for a little bit because they saw our video. So that was really cool to, to meet you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you make the run. I waited for a few hours for Jason and and I thought maybe if I just walked around that would help and that didn't help. So I kind of just sat on the bench and, and uh, kind of checked on Jason's location. And um, yeah, I uh, was you know, pretty bummed that I didn't finish it. I had some serious FOMO sitting by the benches and watching people uh, go through the finish line banner. I um, was so disappointed in myself and one little mistake how that cost me the entire event. So, it is, unfortunately, it's a it's a hard lesson learned. It is, is a uh, 
pretty brutal sport, I guess, where you, if you think about it, you know, the, the, the high speeds and the, <clears throat> and the technical roads. For me, it was, I have mixed feelings about, about yesterday. Um, the first half of the ride was great. Uh, Joy and I were riding together, uh, which is what we really wanted to do. We wanted to, our, our goal was, was to ride together, but I expected us actually to get separated on the single track uh, because her skills are better than mine. And so I told her, you know, if that happened, you know, to not wait for me. Um, so I wasn't sure if we would actually get to ride together the whole day. Um, but the first half of the ride, we were riding together and we were both riding pretty well, I thought, and we were um, taking turns pulling each other and we were really working well together. I thought we were both riding pretty strong. Un unfortunately, the second half of the ride, you know, there's a little bit of a damper on it because uh, as Joy mentioned, um, she had a crash on the second single track section. You okay, honey? You hit your head? Uh oh. On what? The ground? You sure? Um, I'm not sure. It's pretty slow. Joy had to had to DNF. She uh, had a crash on the second single track section, and I think overall she's I think she's okay, but her back is hurting her, and. Uh, we hope it's just a muscular thing, like a back spasm. And uh, we stopped at the second aid station and there was a 
someone from the event there that uh, arranged for for a car to come pick people up uh, who uh, had to stop riding and um, but they so I was was actually hoping to to just stop along with Joy keep her company but the guy said that the car can only take three people at a time and there were a few other guys there who had to stop so since it's possible for me to keep riding I decided to just keep riding joy will get picked up uh, by the event support people and brought back to the starting point and I'm just gonna keep riding and uh, try to finish it out and get back there by bike so at this point unfortunately Joy's day is over and this is no longer a race for me this is just riding the bike back to the fairgrounds and I'll try to keep a pretty good pace just so that Joy's not waiting around for me forever when she does get back. So from between the second and third aid station, as I said, there's, uh, there's a lot of gravel climbing in that section. And that's, uh, that's really the grueling, I would say that's kind of the, the grueling part of the course. Uh, there's other parts of the course that are challenging in their own way. Uh, the, the single track sections challenge you technically, uh, but from a fitness standpoint, that I would say the um, that section between the second and third aid station. So uh, roughly miles, um, let's say 35 to 50, um, somewhere in there. That stretch is the most challenging. Uh, from a fitness standpoint and so I noticed that my legs started to fatigue as I got into that climbing and um, I was also lacking a little bit of motivation to be honest because uh, I really missed having joy there and you know, we were having so much fun in the first half of the ride and it was kind of um, a lonely slog up these uh, these steep climbs. Well, according to the elevation profile, I think we have a super steep climb coming up after this, this downhill.
Hey guys, just left the third aid station and should be about 10, maybe a little more than 10 miles, 10, 12 miles, something like that. Got a, uh, the third, uh, trail single track section. I believe this one has a steep climb, which I may or may not attempt. We'll see. Just texted with Joy. She's uh, doing okay, hanging in there. Uh, her back is still bothering her. Um, but she said she's not dying, so Can't wait to get back to the, the finish and see Joy. Not as fun out here without her. Uh, oh, that's too steep. No way. I don't have the legs for that at this point. I don't know if I ever would have the legs for this, but. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, let's go. You got it. Yeah, I definitely don't have the legs for this thing right now. Man, that's impressive. I don't even know if I can make it up this when I'm fresh. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm with you. Maybe if I had a mountain bike gearing or something, but maybe. Slight yeah. chance. Yeah, I think you can make it up this time around. Right? Yeah, let's go. After the third aid station, short right after that, there's a, a third single track. Part of it's a pretty steep climb, and I didn't attempt to to ride it. Um, I kind of wish I did in hindsight because there were um, there were a couple guys that that rode up that steep part, and I was really impressed with that. Um, uh, they rode up it while I was well, myself and many others were walking it, and if I if I could go back and 
and redo that part, I would probably at least give it a try and just try to go up that steep, that steep climb until I failed. I didn't attempt it because, you know, my legs were kind of cooked already and I didn't, I didn't have confidence. But anyway, got through the, the third single track section, which is technically easier than the first two. Um, there's more climbing on it, uh, but you know, technically it's, it's not very, not very difficult. Uh, and then after that, that single track, there's a kind of a long descent. Thank you. When I got to the bottom of the descent, I started trying to time trial it, you know, to get back uh, to, to the finish as, as fast as I could with whatever legs I had left. And um, as I said, I, I, I miscalculated how long I, I had left to go. So when I got to the bottom of that descent, I thought I only had about five miles left in the ride. So, I, you know, I thought it was time to start time trialing it at that point. And then five miles passed and I'm like, uh, okay, I'm... I, I recognized the the area I was in um, was the same area of the course where we got hit with a thunderstorm last year. Uh, so I, I recognized it and and I knew that there were still a few miles to go from that point on. Uh, I'm not sure if it was three miles, five miles, something like that. So I got to this part of the course and I thought to myself, okay, uh, you, you still have, you still have another three to five miles left. Um, and you've already been, you know, trying to push threshold, you know, on this, uh, this time trial effort. Um, but, you know, I just told myself to keep pedaling hard as hard as I can. Uh, at that point it was really hard to, to get my power above threshold. Um, you know, but I just did the best I could and uh, just kept pedaling, pedaling until I eventually made my way back into the town of Chatham. And then once I was in the, the you know, uh, Chatham Center, I knew that I was close to the finish.
just finished guys uh, I'm not sure what what my total time was because we did have some stoppage time riding time was five five hours 31 minutes which is a little bit slower than I wanted I was hoping to do like five and a half I mean it's close enough I guess uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's faster than I did this event last year so uh, now uh, let me uh, try to regroup with Joy. I think I saw her uh, snapping a picture of me at the finish line, so I know she's here somewhere. You did it! How do you feel? Uh, my legs are dead. Your legs are dead? Yeah, all that. Like, after the that section, after the second aid state, between the second aid station and the third aid station, there's all those gravel climbs. They're yeah. kind of long, too. Look, well, the sun's out. So yeah. I don't know what... I don't know what the total time was uh -huh. yet. But. I think it was six something. There's a t there. Did you see the time in oh in the front oh, beginning? Oh yeah, yeah. Six something, but okay. I didn't see it. Um, well, faster. Than, I'm pretty sure that's faster than last year. Yeah. This is the first time that I've I've gone through, you know, a race finish line with, you know, the banner and whole banner and everything and people, you know, cheering you on. They had you know police officers um, directing traffic to. Uh, once, once, when we were in the the town, you know, they they would stop traffic to let the riders through. The town of Chatham really, really um, supports the the cycling there, uh, which I think is great. And they had great food at the aid stations. Um, you know, very uh, uh, helpful people. Also, to you know, in this situation, we we had to to take advantage of, of the support that, um, support team that they had to, to, to bring riders, uh, back to the, the be to the beginning if they couldn't finish. Again, the only thing missing from the day yesterday, which is a big thing, is, uh, that Joy didn't get to finish it with me. You know, I really wish we got to finish it together. Um, but we'll be back next year and determined to make that happen. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your rides out there.